Let's get on with it, please, yes? These need to be brief for these briefings. Oh, ravishing. That, I mean, the flowers are ravishing. The regime is a show about leader of a small Central European country, and she is a very complicated, authoritarian-leaning figure. Do remember, these are real Westgate people. Why does everyone keep saying that? Do you think I'm going to take a shit on the podium? Elena Vernon wants to create change. She doesn't always know exactly what to do other than to get people to love her. And she absolutely is delusional and believes that they really do love her. Who the fuck are all these people? I took the liberty of inviting our people from the countryside. She plays a monster, a dictator in maybe all but name, but who also has many anxieties and is insecure like the rest of us. Madam Chancellor, Corporal Zubek. Zubak comes into her life because she has a system within the palace of employing a protector. You're here because you are nobody, do you understand? And that means I can trust you. Well, he's really a peasant, and he's from a poor working-class part of the country. He's in the process of transformation, and he's discovering the world of power and how it works. It's good to have a dash of rural flavor in her stew. As a garnish, if nothing else. Elena and Zubak, they're kindred spirits in some way. However dysfunctional their relationship is, I think it's probably one of the only places he truly felt safe and motivated to live with a purpose. I'd like to see her. Is she expecting you? I'm her husband. Is she expecting you? It was completely original, very funny, and it had this fascinating, bizarro woman at the center. Let me do my work and be grateful, okay? Okay. Sorry. Kate and Matthias brought to it a true love story. It's incredibly moving to see that there is a real connection between these two people. You heard me, didn't you? Yes. In your head. I did. What we started to do was try and understand how we could build this world that felt so fascistic and threatening, but also have the kind of femininity that it required. I said, let's go to Vienna. It seems to have a lot of palaces. It was very important to have that level of extraordinary opulence. It has brilliant humor and profoundly silly comedy that made me laugh a lot. Love this Kingfisher Blue. I'll try not to get blood on it. But equally moments of terror and moments that are very emotional. It is time to show America and the world precisely what we are worth. The show is impossible to imagine without Kate and her presence. We hope that people with some entertainment and perhaps some terror are transported into that world. You cannot put your finger on exactly who she is, and you certainly don't know what she's going to do next. What happens now? <laughs>